Investigators and engineers with Blue Origin are still looking into what happened after today's uncrewed launch of the new Shepard rocket and capsule out in West Texas. It was their 23rd launch since they began sending rockets into low orbit, but just 65 seconds into the mission this morning, something went very wrong. Ken Molestina takes you inside the launch. The launch was textbook for Blue Origin's new Shepard spacecraft. Then, just after a minute of flight, the capsule and rocket separated in dramatic fashion. The booster came crashing down. The capsule, carrying 36 experiments but no humans, successfully aborted with its systems deploying parachutes and bringing it to Earth safely. Blue Origin's streaming coverage then abruptly ended without an explanation. Thank you for joining us for today's webcast. The engineers at Blue Origin will look at everything. They'll look at all the data that they've received, you know, data that's directly relevant, data that's indirectly relevant. Ken Ruffin is a space expert and engineer serving as the president of the National Space Society of North Texas. He says there may be multiple reasons as to why the mishap. I think it's maybe a minor setback only because the issue with the rocket itself, of course, has to be um, determined and evaluated, uh, repaired, um, possibly, most likely, even upgraded. The FAA is now looking into this. In a tweet, Blue Origin reemphasized the capsule escape system worked as designed. And according to CBS News space contributor Bill Harwood, that's a positive takeaway. Uh, so I think Blue Origin will do whatever is required uh, to convince their own engineers in the outside world. Uh, that it's safe when they get around to flying again. Founder Jeff Bezos' plan is to continue sending paying customers to space. You'll recall he Grapevine's Wally Funk concerned. was one of the first to be invited to go up last year. But now it's up to the FAA when been. Blue Origin no. can launch again. Uh, is, is there normally some sort of timetable that we can expect as to how long an investigation like that could last? There's no way at all to predict in this case because we just don't have any data on the outside. You know, Blue Origin, they've got a lot of telemetry that comes down from that rocket. Uh, so they, they could very well have some sense of what went wrong by now, but we don't know that. I'm Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News.